technology is ever evolving. New stuff comes out, becomes outdated in less than a week. It's freaking crazy. But there's some upcoming technologies that will probably blow your freaking socks off, and I'm about to tell you about them. So buckle up, because number three on the list is probably going to shock you. AI art has been around for a fair bit now, and it's already come a long way. There are already a couple of huge AI art, AI art generators, Dolly being one of the big ones. Dolly is pretty impressive, you just give it a text prompt and it will use AI to generate it. It is some pretty neat stuff, in fact, let's go try it out right now. So here we are on the Dolly art generator page. Um, first things first, let's try blocky pizza slice. Oh crap, I put slive. This ain't blocky at all. Cube pizza. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, that's, um, that is, uh, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> that looks so weird. What is this? We could try pizza with a face. Okay, well, this one looks creepy. This one looks really creepy. Let's try to make it very freaking creepy. I mean... No, oh! <laughs> what the heck? Is that a mustache on him? Alright, now let's get back to the lab and I'll round us off so we can move on to number two. So as you can see, artificial intelligence art is a really big step in AI technology. The ability to create images from any text prompt is already cool enough, but the fact that it looks so real and so good, it's just hard to beat something like that. Now let's move on to number two. Xeno transplantation is when someone transplants organs or tissues from an animal and puts them into a human. Scientists have been working towards this kind of tech for years, because it will just save so many lives. And due to the worldwide organ shortage crisis, this may be the way people get their organs in the future. Now, scientists and researchers have stated that we have a long way to go before xenoplantation is completely available to the general public. But on the upside, they have already performed a xenoplant transplantation using genetically modified pig kidneys, and it went well. The main point of this test was to see the, the long-term viability of the procedure. The kidneys were not immediately rejected, and the kidneys remained viable until the study ended. I think this technology is going to be very useful, it's going to save so many lives, and it'll be worth it in the long run, without a doubt. Now onto number 3. Necrobotics is the practice of using biotic materials, aka dead organisms, as robotic components. I think this is very interesting because you're basically controlling a dead animal. And recently scientists from Rice University reanimated dead spiders and used their corpses as mechanical claws. And the reason they use spiders is because spiders actually don't use muscles to move. They move using hydraulic pressure, which basically makes it easier to reanimate them. Now there are tons of advantages to necrobotics. It's biodegradable and it bypasses engineering requirements, which means they are able to recreate complex animal movement, which also obviously means that these necrobots can perform tasks that traditional machines just flat out can't do. For example, the necrobotic gripper is capable of grasping objects with irregular geometries and up to 130% of its own mass. This means the gripper can serve as a handheld device and innately camouflages in outdoor environments. That is extremely useful. Necrobotics could be a huge breakthrough for robotics and engineering, but it does open up some morality questions, especially if we don't stop at just reanimating dead spiders. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you found a list of my pick of the top three future technologies, educational and epic. Hope you learned something today. That's all for this video. See ya, guys.